My name is Sam Brown. I'm a visionary painter and designer. I've always had a, uh, a creative inclination. I always, even as a child, was very much aware that there was uh, something going on around me that was quite magical. And usually I tuned into that through nature. Nature is a big inspiration. Even as a kid, you know, exploring nature on, on your bike. We used to live by a lake. I would ride my bike to the lake a lot. Didn't always realize it, but you, you see things, you know, like kids do that influence you, animals and birds and stray dogs. And doing art, I guess, is how I processed it, you know, uh, how I kind of came to know the world and to know myself. I was uh, in suburbia on the suburban hamster wheel, going round and round to nowhere. I was fed up with suburbia and the whole mindset and the rat race. I've always wanted to come to New Mexico. I always visualized myself living out here in, in the beautiful hills. I just decided it's about time I do that. When I first began drawing and painting, uh, most of my themes were science fiction. And uh, as a young person in the 70s, I was very um, taken with the very stylized uh, science fiction genres. Art essentially was a different kind of way to communicate, not just with myself, but with other people as well. It, it was mainly a, a self-reflective kind of activity. I found out I could express myself and figure out things by drawing and doodling. And when I found out other people found them interesting, it was like having a new language. It was uh, a way for me to uh, communicate. That's really what it's all about. It wasn't so much about the commerce really, but it was more of feeling like I could achieve something through my creativity and imagination. and other people responded to it. Uh, it's a nice feeling. A lot of my images that I use, animals and plants and things, have to do with uh, the mystery of consciousness. It's waking up to the world and to life and realizing that everything is conscious and alive and connected. And the beauty of it all, animals, nature, plants, flowers, trees, planets, galaxies, it's magic. As far as the rock art and the native art, I've always loved Indian art and simple kind of geometric, mythic forms. I first came to New Mexico when I was in my early 20s and was very impressed with the landscapes and the culture. I had a connection somehow to those cultures and I wasn't really sure how, but it stayed with me. It's always um, been part of my art, this kind of native, earthy kind of style. This is Spiral Speak behind me, uh, one of the first spirals I did back in 2008. It's the original, 24 by 30 inches. Um, I was trying to encompass uh, the oneness and the uh, uniqueness, the diversity of uh, the universe, that's a, uh, an element I try to encapsulate in a lot of my spiral paintings. Uh, the time I did it, I was, I was kind of foreseeing a whole series of spiral paintings, which uh, have since come about. Uh, it's one of uh, my most popular ones, quite honestly. It's been used a lot on different sites as well as it was used as a CD cover.
I have ideas that aren't fully realized or completed yet. Uh, a goal is simply to keep making art, to try and find a way to uh, balance the commerce with the creativity. Uh, I have ideas for paintings uh, that I haven't put down on paper yet. Uh, my main goal is to, to keep uh, creating things. More paintings, more people, uh, more art, more happiness, more peace.